touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know, oh, I got souls, baby What up, gang, gang, gang? You already know what it is. Guy King TV. And I'm dropping videos because I've been... I'm not going to say slack it. I've been neglecting you guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I've been, I've been running around the streets. And <clears throat> I've been seeing some things, so I just wanted to address them while I got time. Um, Let's talk about why simps are always going to come in last. Now, if you classify yourself as a simp, I want to say this. You can always change. You don't have to be a simp for life. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be a simp for life. You can always change. Now, I want to say this. The red pill truth is this. There's nothing wrong with being nice to women who deserve it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing more beautiful than being able to enjoy spending time with a woman that deserves it. You know, that deserves your time. She's complimenting you and y'all having a good time. What's not cool is being a simp and being pushed over. What's not cool is being a simp and letting women use you. What's not cool is being a simp knowing good and well that there's certain aspects of a traumatic woman that you are putting up with just to get some pussy. That's not cool. You don't deserve that. And at the same time, I'm going to be 100 if you're a motherfucking man, then you got the choice to get out of there. You don't have to stay there. So a lot of the times we put ourselves in situations where we don't necessarily have to be. If you find yourself simping for some pussy, then you are already losing. Let me let me explain something to you about women. And let me explain something to you about their attitude towards simp. And I love, I always mention Patrice O'Neill a lot because that's my favorite comedian. And he was a MGTOW homie. And he made this great analogy about how if, if you think of women as sharks in the sea and when she's dealing with a male shark, she hates the fact that a male shark is the motherfucking man. She, she can't control him. A male shark is out here doing what he do. So she may find herself saying, hey, I can't control this motherfucker. I feel unhappy, but that's only some temporary shit. So she thinks... That she might want to deal with, let's say, a, 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 a seal. She deal with a seal. She deals with a penguin, right? She deals with something that's of a lower status. So she's able to play with this motherfucker. She's able to control this motherfucker. Do all the things that she thought she wanted to do to this motherfucker. Which would be in the sense of coming from an alpha to a simp motherfucker, right? Now she's with a simp motherfucker, and the simp motherfucker's having a good time, but she's like, uh, this don't do it no more. She's like, I can eat this motherfucker if I want to. I can devour this motherfucker if I want to. But she can't do that to the alpha. She can't do that to the shark. So she gets upset with the seal or the or the penguin, and she goes back to the to the shark, like, yo. You know, I'd rather just put up with what I, I could deal with with a shark. Because this is the nature of a woman. A nature is hypergamous. Uh, the nature of a woman is very hypergamous. But at the same time, you have to know that if you're not aware that you may be a simp or you're an alpha nigga, then you're going to see what starts to happen. And every woman is going to test you. It don't matter who you get with. Even if you with a chick that you like and you think she's cool, she's going to test you because that's her nature. You have to be aware of that, though. You have to be aware of that. And you have to know. That they're going to always test you. It's never going to be up. Every goddamn day, you might have to deal with some shit. Or she may try some. She might be cool for a week. You might get a good week. You might get a good week where everything going good. She ain't tripping on you. You ain't tripping on her. Y'all ain't got no issues. And next thing you know, there's going to be some shit that happens. And whether you check it or not, what you got to realize too about women is this. You may love them to death. But if you don't check them when they need to be checked, then you're, then you're doing yourself a disservice because you, you don't want to upset her. Fuck that. Your, your happiness is very important. The reason why simps would come in last is because you have a... It's not, and, 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 and just for the record, I'm not trying to put nobody down when I talk about this shit. I'm talking about the reality. I don't go as far as the, the red pill nature of a lot of guys when they try to down niggas. All I do is try to get you ways of looking at things in a healthy way. I understand there's men out here 
who may not be able to have the same pickings of an alpha nigga. So you might have to take seconds. You might have to get seconds. You might have to deal with bitches who got a couple kids. Because you really can't find bitches out here that you really want that you can deal with. That's not what I'm here to discuss. I'm here to discuss why a simp nigga is always losing. A simp nigga to come in last. The reason why a simp will come in last is not because he don't put himself first. He does not have purpose. That's what it comes down to. If you have purpose, you're going to realize that certain things ain't going to come before your purpose. You're going to realize certain things are liabilities that is not conducive to you achieving your purpose. And one of those things is, is dealing with women with heavy baggage. Whether it's a lot of kids or too much baggage, this is why you'll lose. Because, uh, you know, truth be told, an alpha can do two things. You can fuck single mothers, but you ain't dating them. You're not conce you're, you're not giving them all your time. You know, uh, he can also fuck women who ain't got kids, but he's not letting these bitches take control of all his time and his purpose. And those are the things that will keep you winning. Those, those are the things that will keep you at the top of the food chain when it comes to dealing with women, man. Let me keep it 100 with you. When you focused on your purpose and you're not worrying about what, you know, aiding women who may be draining your time and draining your energy. And when you're focusing on, your, on yourself, women can pick up on that. A simp, a simp may be the type that'll be a yes man. Now, once again, as a man, we love dealing with women. We love having fun hanging out with women. I love saying yes to women, but I also know there's times when you got to say no to a woman when she really wish you said yes, and you cannot give a fuck about that. Because you know that you're thinking about something in the standpoint of principles. She's thinking about it through her feelings. And you may be in a situation where you could say yes, but you know it wouldn't be beneficial to you. So you cannot give a fuck how she feels. A simp nigga going to say yes and bend over backwards just because he don't want to make her mad. So you're going to stay losing all top because you're not putting yourself in a healthy position. That's what's one of the things that's very important to understand. These are the things that I have the issue. But I'm not the type of guy to, you know, correct a nigga out in the field. You have to learn that on your own. You have to do like this. Listen to some videos. Listen to other men who know what's going on. Talk about it. I'm just going to give you game from a spiritual standpoint. From a healthy standpoint, when we talk about simps, you have to understand that it's not in your nature to be a yes man to a woman. It's not in your nature to be this pussy ass nigga that a woman deals with. She ain't what she want. The truth of the matter is, it's many gay niggas out here. She can go and get a gay friend if she want a pussy ass nigga for a friend to talk with and to do all this goofy ass shit. But the truth of the nature is she want a man. Because you got to understand the dynamics between men and women. We're both masculine and feminine. She's masculine and feminine too. But we project this energy out to each other. She's looking for a masculine man. Now, just for a moment, I may go off subject for a second, but I want to talk about... I may say that for another video. I think that'll be dope. I'll say that for another video. But yes, don't be a simp, man. Don't be a simp. You, you, you'll you really be doing yourself a disservice. There's so much pussy out here that you don't have to be a simp for. You don't have to be a simp. You could be a stand-up nigga and get pussy at you all day, every day, and you could choose who you want to fuck, because guess what? If you bossed up nigga, pussy is in our favor the same way dick is in their favor. Don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? So I ain't want to be too long. Just want to chop it up. If you're a simp, man, come on, man. Don't come on, man. You know, I'm not going to be that red pill guy to tell you all this hurtful, hateful shit about women to make you feel like you got to be mean to them. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to show you how to deal with your masculine energy and understand how to interact with the feminine. It's very important that we understand this. Um, but I didn't want to be too long because I'm going to get back to writing my book. But I just definitely want to put some game out here for y'all. Um, like, share, subscribe. If you need a consultation, I charge $100 an hour. Um, email me at IRONIC9472 at Gmail. Or you can inbox me on IG at Pataha RBG. P T A H R B G. So you already know what it is. Gold Sack Gang niggas checking in. Squirtle Gang niggas stay at it. Salute. I will stay touching all kinds of paper. And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater. Cause I know. Oh, I got so baby.
Cause I